This is Zorgadowski of We Are Change.org out here in Delhi, India. And this chaotic situation that you're seeing unfold here in front of the ATM is a currency reset happening in real time. The government here decided to crack down on the black market and tax evaders in an insane way that I have not seen governments do before. And this story is worth sharing with you. Now, as soon as I came and landed here in India, there was huge long lines at the ATMs and money exchange places. I had to wait an hour just to get money to pay for a taxi to get out of the airport. There were security guards and police officers making sure normal people wouldn't come to the airport because any other ATM line like you're seeing behind me is swamped with people waiting there all day to try to get their money. It is virtually in possible especially for me now to get any additional money and after an hour waiting I was only able to get 2,000 rupees what the government did here is they banned $500 rupee notes and $1,000 rupee notes and said that these notes just don't exist anymore and they hold no wealth at all. If you want them to hold wealth, you have to go to the bank, you have to get fingerprinted, your tax records have to be checked, and if you do pay your taxes, if the money that you have is all accounted for and not done through the black market or not done throughout paying taxes, then and only then you could get those bills changed and transferred to actual denominations and actual bills that do matter today. This is a huge hit to the middle class and poor. It has caused chaos. This is one of the smallest lines we have seen today. We have seen the lines with hundreds of people waiting on there. We have seen people in very dangerous, violent situations. There have been riots breaking out in front of banks. There have been people dying. And there's also extremely sad situations unfolding with children who are dying in the hospitals because the doctors won't take their payments because the families only have five hundred and thousand dollar bills now just to make you understand a five hundred dollar rupee note is worth about seven u.s dollars but it's worth a lot here and now because of this a lot of the people here which here in India is mostly a cash driven society are screwed over with this because obviously a lot of this stuff is done on the black market and a lot of the sales and when the government is looking at all the accounting and all the books they're like wait you didn't pay for taxes for this and bam they got you. This is an insane, crazy, dramatic move made here in India that is sending devastating impact on the poor and middle class. With the current state of the worldwide economy, this is something that we all need to worry about because it wouldn't surprise me if another country would pull this off as well. Makes you think maybe it would be smart to invest in gold or Bitcoin. Again, stay tuned. I'm here in India for quite a while. You got any story tips and ideas, message me on twitter.com forward slash Luke. We are change. We're going to report, be reporting for you here on the ground nonstop seven days a week on youtube.com forward slash we are change to so subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more. This place is insane. This place is crazy. It's wild. It's incredible. So I'm here for a while. Stay tuned. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more coverage coming here your way from India.